Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with another knife review for you. Today we have the Orion Knives Solaris. I did review the prototype of this back when it was first a Kickstarter. It is now a fulfilled Kickstarter. This is a production version, and I'm very happy to have my hands on the production one. So we're going to talk a lot about this. This will be more of an actual review than my previous one was. Because as I said, the previous one was a prototype. I was light on the stats and whatnot. Uh, so yes, those of us who back this via Kickstarter are getting our knives now. There are going to be some available uh, later in the month for $80. This is a pretty inexpensive knife. We'll talk more about what you're getting for that. And then after that, there's going to be a pre-order for $90 for the actual regular production ones that will just continue coming out. So uh, keep an eye out for those at orionknives.com. I will link that down below. I want to talk a bit about the designer before we get too much into the the specs and, and coolness of this knife. Uh, Blade Banter is what we all know him as. Had a, has a really good uh, YouTube channel, but the main thing that he's done for the internet knife community, for the YouTube community, is he started what is called the Apex Pass Around Group. You will see that mentioned a lot on YouTube, especially amongst some of the smaller channels. It is a great thing that he does. It's a, as it says, a pass around group. So it allows a lot of the smaller channels that can't just call up and ask for something to get stuff into review. Great, great thing he does. It's very well run. It so well run that I'm actually not part of it anymore <laughs> just because uh, I just, I couldn't keep up with the, with the demands of it just to make sure I got stuff back on time. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of why I'm not on there more. And uh, I just need to know exactly when stuff is showing up, but great great service that he provides and just a super organized cool guy and knows i will fully admit probably knows more about knife design and little the minutia of knives than i do as as exampled by this knife so for your 80 and or 90 dollars you're getting 14 c 28 on steel which happy with that one of my favorite budget steels out there g10 scales titanium milled pocket clip full G10 backspacer, and it is a button lock and a very smooth, fun to fidget with one as well. Thumb studs and flipper deployment. Pretty cool. I do have to say, happy to see a more kind of budget-friendly uh, button lock out again. There have been some in the past, but they always kind of come and go. Glad to see this one out here. I think CRKT still makes a, a couple of them, but yeah, this is uh, this is better than those. <laughs> so um, I'm going to set this aside for a moment and just show you the packaging because, like I said, this is the first time you're going to see this. So um, you get this kind of outside box. Obviously, it came in like a priority mailbox. But here's the actual Orion thing. And then you get, you get a pretty cool sticker, warranty card. I don't really need to show that. And, yeah, it's just a... Pretty nice packaging. Again, keep, keep in mind, 80 or 90 bucks for this. Get your nice old foam. It's not, not fancy, fancy foam, but nice form-fitted foam. And you get a pocket pen with the Orion logo on it, which I think is uh, is pretty darn cool. I love pocket pens. They're awesome. And that this comes with one for that price is just super cool. These are made by QSP. That is the OEM for these. QSP... I've been, I'm more than happy with that, especially at the price range. They do some great, great work, especially again in this price range. Um, yeah, it's very well finished. No issues there whatsoever. No, no whatsoever. Centering is it? Well, one fit and finish issue we'll get to in a minute. But um, yeah, other than that one thing, um, yeah, not, not too bad at all. I got the blue accents on this one uh, with the G10 scales. You can purchase right now you can only purchase i think if you have like a code if you were a kickstarter or something but once they are fully available later this month you can buy a jade g10 scale for 15 bucks extra you can get a carbon one for 35 these are just standalone scales you're going to, have to swap them in yourself and the accents there's red green blue and orange uh for 10 bucks if you want and i think that's just the pivot ring in this um this backspacer so Spoiler, I like this enough. I'm going to get the carbon. I am going to go ahead and buy the carbon scales for it. So I ordered it plain, but yeah. And this is the stone wash finish. I do believe in the Kickstarter there were two different finishes, but don't quote me on that because I may just be spewing something that I think I remember and maybe I don't. But let's get some specs and size comparisons out of the way on this thing. You have a blade length of 
three and a quarter inches, you have a overall length of 7.75 inches, blade thickness of 0 0.12 inches, handle thickness fairly thick at 0 0.55 inches, but that does have some dividends later on, you will see. Weight, little hefty, 4.97 ounces. So uh, for this blade size, it, it's, it's a little hefty. Now, the size comparisons, bring out our Spyderco's. I'm going to use the Manix 2 for this one. So here's your Spyderco Manix 2. I thought this is much more appropriate than a PM2 for this one. Because I think they're just kind of more uh, more familial. And then we'll bring out the pair of three as usual. Slide these up so they're all on camera. Pivot's back a little farther on this one. So it's kind of, if you line up the pivots, they're kind of odd. But it does have a bit of a, the pivot's a bit farther back than usual. So there's that. And bring out our usual Benchmades. Bring out the Benchmade 940. You see, about the same length, but obviously it is much more slender and the full size bug out. So, yeah, yeah, pretty close to bug out length, actually, but obviously it's a much taller knife. And then one that just somebody mentioned, I think actually Keith, uh, Kiefer, our great moderator, on uh, my live shows mentioned that he thought it looked a lot like a shadow. So I'm going to bring out the shadow. Um, I maybe kind of, these were definitely time frame wise, pretty parallel developed. So there's no way either could claim to be a copy of the other, but I think the blade shape you'll see is significantly different. Handles much slimmer. Yeah. Kind of blade to handle ratio stuff. And the shadow is a little bit shorter. But yeah, I mean, kind of, I see it. I guess the pivot's still kind of far back like that, but the blade shape is so different that, I don't know, I, I don't see it that much, but this is also a much thicker knife than the shadow is, but I had to bring that out there. Keith mentioned it, and I said on side by side, I said, oh yeah, I guess I can kind of see that, but again, parallel development. They definitely, neither is definitely not the copy, a copy of the other one. They came out at almost exactly the same time. So uh, let's talk about more of this knife, the blade on it. Uh, 18 thousandths behind the edge get that out of the way very nice no problems with that almost full flat grind and with that pretty thin blade stock and very sharp out of the box it's a great slicer uh, no issues there whatsoever and still has a pretty decent tip on it as well this is just an excellent edc blade shape for sure uh, but on to my favorite part about this knife i think the ergonomics i raved about it on the prototype they haven't managed to screw it up between uh, prototype and production. It's obviously, you're obviously meant to use this very generous kind of 50-50 choil, I guess 70-30 choil almost you'd call it. Um, very super comfortable in the hand. Uh, no problems there whatsoever. This pocket clip, yeah, don't even know that it's there. It's just, it's great. It's really, really nice. Um, I don't think I would change anything about it ergonomically at all if you use it choked back it's a long way before you get to the blade it's definitely meant to be used in this kind of choke up position but love it how does it carry it carries pretty good it's not like mind-blowingly great it's obviously pretty tall in the pocket but it's not crazy again the weight that comes up five ounces is it's kind of a lot for a knife this size it's just it wouldn't have been you know a couple years ago but now i think things are going lighter and lighter but not much sticking out. Pocket clip is great. Tension on it is perfect. Gets in and out of even like uh, jeans with reinforced pockets pretty well. Hand slides by it fine. Uh, nicely, you can feel that uh, the flipper tab, but it's nicely chamfered. That's one of the changes they made from the, the prototype. So even when your, your widow pinky touches it, it's not going to get damaged. You know, it's, it's fine. It's not like a sharp thing. There's no jimping or anything on it that's um, going to tear you up. But, and then the action on it, the other best thing about this. So flipper tab, thumb stud, or use the button lock. And it just drops like that every single time. I've done nothing to this. This is out the box action. Makes pretty good noise. Yeah. 
very happy with it. Are there some downsides? Yes. Um, I already mentioned, I already mentioned uh, two of them. Another one I don't care about, but people are going to say stuff about. So wait, I said that. Oh, here's another, the other one I didn't mention too. I'm sorry. Two I didn't mention. Wait, I already mentioned. Um, this is a thing that is kind of a first run production issue. Happens. Not worried about it. I already spoke to Blade Banner. He's going to fix them, but um, it rattled the stop pins a little bit loose. He's ordered new stop pins. Um, or you could just take it apart, put some Loctite on there, and it'd be fine. But it doesn't affect the operation of the knife at all. It's just when it's closed. Let's open, no rattle. Yeah, not a huge deal. Not gonna burn his house down over it. It's first production run from a brand new company. You know, it happens. Uh, the other thing, if you are a complete blade to handle ratio snob, you're not gonna like this. I'm not, it doesn't bother me at all, but yeah, there's, it's a pretty, short blade for a pretty big handle but the shape of it you see he didn't waste any room or anything it's just kind of a i don't know almost more of an aesthetic thing maybe and the weight and balance is uh, the balance is pretty far back on it um so there's that yeah you're back at like right about the flipper tab again something i personally do not care about i've never really had a knife with horrible balance that threw me like a folding knife use it it's fine <laughs> it's not the end of the world i'd probably notice it more if i had like you know a 12 inch fixed blade or something but on a the average size pocket knife not a thing to me but that's stuff that, that's going to come up on us so those are the only three downsides i have and one is going to be fixed and again at most 90 dollars well done well done sir um this is this is a really cool knife and again i like it enough that i'm gonna upgrade to the carbon scales um it's just uh it's it's a really cool unique knife and again it's cool to see a button lock back in this price range it works well i just really like it it's just it's a very it's a very fun fidgety knife it's gonna be a blast to have around you get lots of color options and stuff on the accents and carving. You get jade scales. You can dye them wherever the hell you want, and it's super easy. Yeah, well done. Really like it. Nice packaging. Nice little tchotchkes on it. I, I think uh, I think Orion is off to a pretty good start, and I've managed to say it correctly all the times because you can say Orion, 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 whatever. It's it's Orion is how he says it, so that's how I'm gonna say it. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and yeah, keep an eye out on the site OrionKnives.com. Again, it'll be linked down below. At the end of the month, he said there's 100 or so left over. He'll be putting those up. And then after that, uh, there'll, there'll be a pre-order at 90 bucks for more of them. So hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. Have a good one.